can change the height of selected faces to match the height of an existing face. You can see that both faces move simultaneously. To match the height of the back protrusion, all I need to do is select on that top face. When the design is complete, you can export an augmented reality file that is accessible on your mobile device. Then you can rotate and scale your model and change your viewpoint to see how your design looks in your environment. Next, what I want to do is insert a socket head cap screw into under the Insert menu. Insert McMaster Car Component. In the drop-down list, make sure that this says 3D Step, and then click Download. Now, if I click and drag in a parts list, notice that balloons were automatically placed when I created the parts list. Another option to start rendering is to use the Render tool. With this option, Fusion 360 will do a rendering in the background. And the next time you start up Fusion and open up this file, your rendering will be available down here in the rendering gallery. Next, I'll start the simulation. The last step is to export a file that you can send to your 3D printer. Next, I'm gonna talk about how you can provide feedback to your students about their designs. Now I'm in the Fusion 360 app on my iPad. I'll add a markup and then I'll add an arrow. Next, I'll tap on post. And the comment has been created. You have three ways to run Fusion 360. You can install it on a Windows or Mac computer. And you can also run Fusion 360 via a web browser, which is perfect for a Chromebook or an underpowered computer. Thanks for watching.